Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions. My name is Corbin. And my name is Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Juicy it's content. so juicy. This is our Stupid Reactions, the musical. Not really. It felt like one of those kids shows. Yeah. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> and welcome to our Stupid Reactions. One day we'll have the budget to do yeah, like a legit. an amazing 90s <laughs> intro. Uh, <sighs> but uh, today, you can follow us on our official Twitter account. And thank you for social Patreon, as always. But today, we are, what are we reacting to? I don't know, I'm not on the right screen here. Well, let me know when you're there. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes, that one. It is called Visharanai? Visharanai. Corbinized. I believe it's a Tamal film. Tamil. Tamil. Yeah. Uh, once again, kill me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's produced by Danush. Ah. So apparently yes. he does a lot of producing. And yes. I believe the year this came out, it was India's official selection for the Oscars. Sweet. I don't know if it made it uh, or not, but uh, that's, that's what I was told. Um, so. Cool beans. Now, this is in, this is in Tamil. Yes. And hopefully with no like Hindi overdubs. It's just in Tamil. I believe it's just in Tamil. With English subs. Yes, hopefully. We'll find out. If it's not, sorry, it's not on purpose. To my editor. I'm guessing he died. Oh. Ronaldo Murchilu, sir. Yo, Unakiusia Purison. Kes the number you said. flashed up there that said based on <whistles> true events. Yeah, who was the gentleman at the end? I think he's from Agnipath, but the Rithic one? I could be wrong, I'll look it up. I think I think that's where we know him from. But, yeah, I know his face. Um, dang, that looked... Is this a hard one to sit through? I'm betting it is. Yeah. Uh, which are equally, I don't want to say fun to sit through, but... You can Depending. appreciate it, especially if it's good artistry. Yeah. And good storytelling, it's an important story, you know? Right, uh, right. Yeah, depending. Um, let me look it up here, though, to see what the synopsis is. The artistry all looked really good, yeah, though. Yeah, like shots of it. Yeah, there's, uh, just, there's a fine line you, can, you have to be careful with when you're dealing with films that tell us uh, that the central story involves torture. Yeah. And the amount that the audience is exposed to the torture. Uh, like, the one that was really hard for me to sit through was Prisoners. 
with Hugh Jackman. Mm. Have you seen that? No, but you've told me about yeah, it. Yeah, it's really hard. Four to laborers are tortured by the police to confess to a theft they have not committed. Oh. Yeah, I saw some waterboarding going on there. Um, I'm trying to find that guy. I I could have swore that was that guy, but I can't seem to find him. Um, weird. The one we recognize? Yeah, yeah, you can let us know uh, who he was. Um, wait. No. Yeah, that looks intense. I can see it, why it was the official s yeah, entry. It looks like it's a, an important story about an event we should know about. The runtime's pretty quick, which is good for a film involving torture. Yeah, you can't have a long no. film about... I mean, no. how long Schindler's List, though? I mean, Yeah, but the beauty of that one is he doesn't... He Hitchcocks that one, and that he freaks you out by showing you less. Because mm -hmm. if, you if you did the Holocaust... But is that doing a disservice to it, though? That's a great question, and that's the balance that I found so beautiful in, in, in Schindler's List, because I felt like he did enough to depict the horror of it mm -hmm. without pushing it too far. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard to do. Really hard to do. Because if you push but, it to tell the realism of it, and Gibson did it with The Passion of the Christ, he's been asked about that because people were all up in arms about how graphic he was, and he says, well, if, I, if anything, I held back. Which is true if you know anything about Roman crucifixion. Yeah. He held way back uh -huh. uh, based on the realities of what took place. So it's hard. It's hard to depict something like that and give people and, and not turn it into a horror film. Or they don't really give them anymore, but NC-17 ratings in the United States where it's just so graphic and brutal. Hard line to cross. So I'm interested to know how well they do that because it's it's difficult, difficult to do. Yeah, not easy. Uh, so let us know. But how you got to tell those stories. We yeah. got to know. That's what I love about Schindler's List is it really, it presses on you the weight of the reality of what transpired without I, I enjoy, you with it. I enjoy films that make me feel uncomfortable though. One hundred percent. I really enjoy it. Uh, I mean, not like. Oh yeah! No, no, no. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Well, that's how I felt about Prisoners because if you haven't seen Prisoners, slight spoiler. It's about this, this man, Hugh Jackman, it's about his, his child being abducted and trying to find the child. And he's pretty sure he knows who did it. And he, there's a, there's, there's sequence, there's this one sequence where he's having to look through photos that the police have of clothing and remains of children that have been abducted and found dead. And he's having to look through to see if he can identify any of the clothes as his little girls. And I almost walked out of the theater. Mm. And the only reason I didn't was because this thought went through my head. Parents who've had to go through this didn't get the option to leave. And so I stuck it out and Jackman was brilliant. But it's really hard to sit through because there's torture that takes place of the person who may or may not be the kidnapper. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really hard to endure. <laughs> really, really hard to endure. But it's one of those where you're like, this kind of stuff goes on with people, and I feel like I owe them the respect to push myself to understand what people have to go through when they endure this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let us know how it is. Uh, do you recommend it uh, and anything of that nature? Yeah. Um, that are what we call the important movies. Yeah, because this looks like one of them. It sure does. <laughs> I feel like I need a, need a bowl of ice cream. Really? Because ice cream makes everything better and happy? Depends on the ice cream, I suppose. It is. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Is it really? Yeah. I've known you this long and I've never known no. that. I must not love you. Oh, Corbin. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> so chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, my wife says uh, mint chocolate chip. Wow. But Bluebell. Micah loves mint chocolate Bluebell. chip. Oh, specifically Bluebell. Bluebell is the best anyway. It's pretty darn good. What is the yeah. best ice cream in India? Would, so you were sweetening this at the end because that was a pretty heavy trailer. And this will be a post credits. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> roll, roll credits now. <laughs> you know what will make everybody happy? What? <laughs>